Good evening and welcome back to Dining with the Bishop. It is Wednesday, a beautiful day it is. I hope everyone's doing well. I missed you all on Monday. I don't know if y'all missed me, but I missed y'all. Um, uh, back to work. What a crazy thing that is. Um, it's a lot of fun, different, challenging. Um, only outside dining, getting the kitchen together, getting everything straight and everything set up. And uh, truly, it's a, actually, it's really a lot of fun to see a lot of my colleagues, friends that I haven't seen in a while, you know. It's good, so. <laughs> Tonight we have um, something that, a dish that I truly, truly, truly love. It was like one of the uh, first dishes that I ever prepared and um, that I thought was absolutely uh, gorgeous. I'll put it to you that way. We have, um, we're doing a rack of lamb and we're gonna do a rack tattooey and a golden potato cake. Very simple, but lots of fun. And it's very, very delicious as well. Um, I just wanna talk about going back to work during this, um, after the pandemic. It's, it's, a, it's a bit different, but I wanna, you know, um, uh, commend a lot of the restaurants that are just like in the hotels that are going above and beyond to make sure that the employees are safe and the, and the, and the guests are safe as well. Um, I, uh, places such as Merrymakers, I seen, I used to work for them, um, and I've seen that the, the, they built tents for the weddings. It's, it's just gorgeous. I mean, they're like trailblazing. They're, they're making things happen. I love it to see all of those places that just, they, they, want, to, they want to make sure that the guests are happy. And I know a lot of people had to cancel their weddings and cancel the events, uh, graduations. A lot of that stuff happened during that time and we're coming back to make sure that you all are happy. That's our job, all right? So now, tonight we have our meats and gloss. We got some russet potatoes, which we're gonna make the golden potato cakes out of. We got some fresh mint, some tarragon, I got some thyme in here, some rosemary. We got some uh, squash, some zucchini, some sliced shallots, a little Roma tomato, some shiitake mushrooms, a little dried black bean, some garlic, salt and pepper, and the, 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 the actual entree itself, rack of lamb. So we're going to start off by cleaning our rack of lamb. Please like and share. Please like and share. Share and like. So rack of lamb is a, it's a it's some, some people say it's gaming, some people say it's this, it's that. But if it's treated properly, it's a great piece of meat. All right. First thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this. This is what you call a fat cat. And you can literally like, just pull it right off. Right off the top there. Make sure your knife is sharp. And this right here, don't throw it away. Use this right here to make your sauce. And uh, I'm gonna show you in just a minute. You want to start here, right here at the top of that bone. And you're just going to go straight down the bone. You want to get this part right here out of the way. Beautiful. And don't throw that away. That's what you make your sauce with. It is so beautiful to use that trim. Let's see, we can't go down just one more. Just get right at that bone. See, because it has that flesh still in there. And once you brown it up, it becomes very, very beautiful. We're going to start here. This right here is what you call the silver skin. Right back here, you just want to go right underneath that and go straight across. And come right back to the other side. 
Beautiful. You're going to try that one more time. Nice, nice. And this, this piece right here is very chewy. This silver skin here, very chewy. But you don't want to take that muscle off the back of that. You want it to stay attached to it. Okay. And just come right back this way. There you go. You got a nice, beautiful piece of meat here. Let's go right here. I want to just take this right here off as well. Great. And then you're going to start to French the bones. And you're going to go straight in here. You're going to make a little U. You're going to get that meat right out of there. Beautiful. Yeah, yes. Nothing like a nice rack. Beautiful rack of lamb. This is a great dinner. Now this dinner is 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 the one that if you're going out and they ask you and you and you order the rack, you and they have the rat tattoo with the golden potato cake, please try it. Try this at home. Father's Day is coming. There you go. <laughs> That'll give you a good reason to try it. See, and once you get all of that off of there. All right, we got a nice little bone action going over here. Pull him off. Let's get that out the way. You want to just trim it. Now, you can literally go here and scrape the meat off, the rest of the fat off of these bones. If you like, just clean them up a little bit. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Get him nice and pretty like. Let's get in here and take him. All right. So now you have, see, and that little piece of fat right there, that's fine. You can leave that there. A nice trim. These right here are Australian, by the way. An Australian rack. The, the New Zealand racks, the eyes are a lot smaller. See how big that eye is on there? That's a nice size. You want some meat whenever you're having your lamb. And don't get me wrong, the New Zealand's are perfect for, uh, if I'm doing salad, like a rack of lamb salad, I've done those with like a um, lamb jus vinaigrette. Those are beautiful. Or if I'm using them for hors d'oeuvres, little lollipops, they're perfect for that. So now we got our skillet hot. And we're going to take them and go here. And I just want to hit it with just a little, oh, I got some of this Himalayan salt. Nice and beautiful. Some cracked black. Nice. And we got some ha -ha, Jaguar's rub which is going to create that crust for us. All right. We're just going to get in, just rub it in there. Beautiful. Let's get right here on the back of this meat. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you got your rack of lamb Frenched and ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna put it on a crust in our beautiful cast iron skillet, but you can see the smoke coming off of there. We're gonna get some, some oil over here. I got some tarragon and thyme tonight. Oh yeah, you hear it sizzling already. She is ready to go. Beautiful. And we can, ooh, you can smell that tarragon. That is a beautiful aroma. And what you want to do is, right in that skillet, lay them down just like that right there. And let your bones stick up. And it's going to get a nice sear and a nice crust on it. 
And it won't take that long because it got that rub on it and it's done. Getting nice. I just want to put a little bit more earl in there. I love that aroma, that smell of that paragon is just amazing. Oh yeah. Now it's going to sear. And what we're going to do is once it finished searing, we're going to put it right into the oven for about a good 25 minutes, which doesn't, that doesn't take that long. All right. Now, I want to make sure. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Let that right there sear some more. I'm going to take my boning knife. Make sure you use a knife that's thin when you're Frenching because if you go to use a chef knife it's wide and you want to get inside there between the bones and then that's the perfect thing to use. Now, my next thing I want to do is we're going to make us a ratatouille. Do y'all remember that movie? <laughs> All right, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that color. Wow. And then I'm just gonna let it sit there and I wanna sear it there as well. I mean, just a little touch more earl right up underneath there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, I got me some shiitake. You wanna get, what I'm gonna do is, see these little tins here? And you can find them at any grocery store, basically anywhere. That, that's going to be, that's what we're going to build our ratatouille in. You want to make sure you got a mushroom that's going to cover the bottom of that pan. I want to make sure I got two. Oh yeah, this one is huge. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, good. But I'm going to sear a couple just to, just to get it going. All right. So what I want to do is I want to take this stem, take him off. Beautiful. And right in this cast iron skillet, we're going to sear these right here up. And see how my rack is doing. Oh yes. And what, what you're doing is you're searing the juices in there. That's what you're doing. Getting it, you're getting it oven ready. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I'd like to see the outside of that eye and see the other side too. That is beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Now if we take our rack and we place them in the oven. Beautiful. Here we go. It's already hot, but I just want to just jack it up just a little bit. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna get rid of this one here. Nice and smoky. Smoky. <laughs> Hot. Now, we got that done and taken care of. Beautiful. Let's get our shiitakes ready. We're going to start off with a little bit more earl. I know I have all sides of the, uh, of the uh, cast iron skillet. I got real small ones, real big ones. You can use them for just about everything. Now, we're gonna go right in here with our shiitakes. And we're just gonna sear them on both sides. All right? And while those are searing, and if you don't have one, get one. Mandolin is a fun toy. You can do a lot with it. All right? We're just gonna set that right there on the side. We're just gonna go down one, and that's it. Now, we're gonna start off with our zucchini. Let me make sure you get nice and skilled. Come on. See? Oh yeah. They get in there. Cause that's gonna be, that's gonna be our base for our 
our uh, our ratatouille. While that's doing that, I can also start my sauce. Beautiful. I'm gonna start sweating some shallots. We got some whole butter. And y'all know I love butter. Nothing like it. Nice. And I got some shallots here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat this down. That right there is gonna be the start of our sauce for our lamb. Beautiful. You can put them on low. And I got a couple of sprigs of thyme I'm gonna put right in there. And they're gonna sweat all together. Beautiful. My shiitakes look like they about ready. Beautiful. Nice. Oh yeah. So you want to cook them here now because you want whenever you um, it's going to be a part. It's all two reasons: flavor and plus it's going to be a part of your presentation once you flip it out. All right. Beautiful. All right. So now we're good. All you need is just a real quick sear. And what you do is you put them right in the bottom of that pan. And see, it's the same size of it. One more here. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. We're just going to set you over to the side. Great. My sauce is sweating nicely. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start building our rat tattoo. Right there too is layers. We're gonna take the end piece, right the tip end of that right there off. Let's take some more of it off, beautiful. And we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna slice them very, very, very thin. I think we got enough. All right, and you just start building right inside of there like so you're going to get those layers and when it when it when it cooks and it flips out it is a beautiful presentation you get tons of flavor in there i want to make sure i get a little salt right on there a little touch of pepper beautiful Let's see how many more we got over here. Let's knock out a few more. Yes, mandolin, lots of fun. But be very, very careful. You can leave your fingers exactly where you was cutting. So, just be careful. And you can find them just about anywhere. Especially like Bed Bath & Beyond, those kind of places. Let me get me one more over here. And we're going to start building this one. Yes. And you just come right around. Like so. And you've been having like, oh, this is perfect. Now, this is perfect for dinner for two. This is great for that. Or, or if you've got a client coming over and you want to impress them, this right here would be perfect for that. Yes, yes, yes. Let's hit it with a little bit of salt and a little pepper. And it's a simple dish. Everybody got some squash in their house. Everybody got some tomatoes in their house. Everybody got some zucchini. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. See how it's sweating? It's getting that nice. It's, re it's releasing all of those flavors in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the tomato. Whee! Nice thin slice. Straight around in it. Uh-oh. 
messed up my little curve here. Nice, nice. Here we go. We're going to get them nice and thin and right inside of there. We're going to do the same one to the other side. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, and see, and, and when things are sliced thin like that, then flavors become very delicate. Don't I don't even know why. <laughs> oh, yes. Here we go. Now we got that going. Beautiful. Let's wipe them off because I'm about to do my squash. Oh yeah, she good. Here we go. I just want to put another little salt and little pepper here. Because once it goes inside, it's just going to be in there. How we doing everybody? Hey, hey, Miss Linda, you got your you got your Jaguars rub. I hope you're enjoying it. Beautiful. Yes, Georgetta is a very sweet person. Hi, Mary. Hey, Pastor Tammy. Edwina, be safe out there. Yeah, I am very safe. I go with the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hi, Golden. Catrice, hi. Beautiful. Now we got that right there going. And what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer of squash right on top of that. This is this is absolutely beautiful. You can smell that thyme and that. I want to get a little red wine. Just to deglaze my pan. And it's going to reduce down as well. All right. Beautiful. Now, here we go. Same thing with the squash. Could you imagine making, I don't know, hundreds of these things? I remember doing my mise en place, getting ready for dinner service in, in Manhattan, and whoo! And you got to be on point. And all of these things got to be cut exactly right. Oh my God, I remember those days. <laughs> this is a dish that I, I, I remember. That's, that's when I found out, hey, chefing ain't easy. <laughs> Uh-uh. When you got dishes that some of them got like seven steps to one plate, that is something. But you find out that if you got that passion for it and your love and the drive, it not, I'm not going to say it becomes easy. It, it be, You can almost make it look easy because you just love it just that much. And that's the, that's the way it works. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit more salt. And just a little bit more pepper. Oh, look at that was funny. <laughs> All right. And what I have, you want to hit it with just a little oil. That flavored oil. And it's going to go right down in there. And cook up beautifully. Okay. Now, that one there. And you want to make sure that you got something heavy to put on top of it. It's not very, very heavy, but heavy enough. So I got some black beans. Because when it cooks, it's going to help the weight just go straight down and it's going to compress all together. All right. Beautiful. I'm going to slide my lamb over. Beautiful. 
Oh yeah. That's lovely. I think our lamb is done. And what you want to do is, when it comes out, you want to let it rest. So I'm going to let it sit here and let it rest. And see how tight it is? I mean, all the blood has been rushed to it just like that. So now when it's resting, the blood is, <clears throat> excuse me, the blood is going to go back out. All right. So now let that right there rest and chill. That's done. Next up. That's in the oven. This one here. I know y'all say, where he get all them little pots from? I got pots and pans for days. We got us a potato. Use a russet potato for this. It's perfect because of the starches inside of it will help the cake he, um, and he, um, <clears throat> stick together. There's a better word for it. I couldn't get it. Adhere. There you go. Adhere together. <laughs> and just peel them. And you want to almost just like shape them to the way you want it to go inside that pan. All right. And this is stuff that everybody got in their house. So you ain't got to go out and get nothing special. Beautiful. Now we got our little pan here. Want to make sure this. Oh, that right there smells amazing. Reduce down nicely. I just want to hit it. I have some clarified butter here. And I'm just going to put it right in my little pan. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with my potatoes. Let me open this up. And you don't want to soak them in water or anything because you'll get the starch out away from it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go right into this pan directly hot. Nice. And you just layer it all the way around. And it makes this beautiful cake. I can't even pronounce it in French anymore. <laughs> but it's a cake like this and it's also a julienne potato cake, which they call a roasty potato cake, which are great for dishes like this. Whee! What you can do with some plain old potato, a little salt, a little pepper right here in front of me. Nice. See how much fun this is? <laughs> we just gonna slice them all the way down. Don't do it like me. Use the guard. Trust me. It's just because I've been doing this for 30 some odd years. That's all that is. Use the guard. Trust me. I don't want nobody saying, y'all was watching Bishop and I left my fingers where it was at. No, 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 no. Make sure you do that. Now, we're going to do this like so. Oh yes. Let's get one in the middle. And you just layer it all the way around. And what it's doing is you're gonna get that golden crust on the bottom. And then once that crust is created on the bottom, we're gonna flip them over and do the and, and do the rest of it. Beautiful. And you just finish it in the oven after that layers and layers of goodness it's amazing what you can do with a potato okay we're gonna get here I just want to go back around one more time lovely 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 
and one more on top. Beautiful. Now, and what this right here is going to do is, you get your little rubber spatula and make sure that you got everything on the inside like that. You just add your little bit more clarified butter. That butter, now you know butter and potatoes go together anyway. So, need I say more? Beautiful. See, now that right there is going to cook up and get nice and be a nice, beautiful golden potato. We're going to clean up a little bit. Take my mandolin and set them to the side. This thing is a lot of fun. You can cut up, you can make french fries out of it. You can do, you name it, you can do it with a mandolin. Faster than you can with a knife. Yeah. Let's get them nice and clean. I hope y'all enjoying this show. Mr. Rack of Lamb himself. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. All right. So now, let's get back to this sauce. Ooh. Now what I got here is, I made, of course I made this lamb prior. So I did all that trim that I had left over, I made a lamb stock. And it was absolutely beautiful. A nice stock. Ooh, I made this stock yesterday, and when it was when it was boiling and reducing in the house, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this stock to this. See now I'm gonna turn them up, so I'm gonna need it to reduce a little bit. All right, beautiful. I got lamb and I got a little chicken stock. I want to add to it. Yeah, I'm fighting this thing tonight. Just a touch. The chicken stock. Beautiful. And now that right there is going to reduce down nicely. Now what I got here is my potato. Now let's see how we make it out. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. What you talking about? And that's a potato. <laughs> nice golden brown. And if you, you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond and find these little pots. They're, they, they got a lot of them. They got all kinds of toys and stuff there. And see, now it's, see how it turns that golden brown color? And then you just... You finish the bottom part and then you just toss them in the oven. And it comes out nice, crisp, and it's delicious. All right. Let's turn them down a little bit. Beautiful. Now, let's see what we got going on here. I need to reduce this sauce. You need to get nice and hot. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. She good. How we doing, everyone? Fun until you slice your nut. That's exactly right. <laughs> Hi, Apostle Sandra. Yes, potato cake. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, she is always on it. My beautiful wife. Yes, it is, Mr. T. Rome. Butter is gold. Yes, butter is gold. Good evening, all. Enjoying the journey. Thank you, Chef James, Lady Stephanie. Ah, oh, thank you, Golden. CJ! <laughs> oh, wow. It's good to see you on here, sir. Beautiful. Now, once it gets like that, and it's nice, and they got that golden brown going on. See, and then it sticks together. That's that's the best part. That's that's what your starches do. See, and it becomes a beautiful cake. Now I'm gonna take this and toss it in the oven. 
like so. Now I got some ooh, rat tattoos, which I think are done. Beautiful. We got our rat tattoos done. Put you over here and turn you up. Nice. See, we got the rat tattoos, and you just take that right off of there. It has that weight on it. It just compresses it down and it becomes what you see right there. And in just a second, we're gonna flip them out. Beautiful, my sauce is getting good. I wanna take some of this demi-gloss. Ooh, that smells delicious. I got some demi. I just want this thing to come to a bowl. Give me two seconds and I'm gonna let it come to a ball and it's gonna be, it's gonna be on point. And that's gonna finish my sauce. That demi gonna create that, with that, with that lamb, it's gonna give it nice sauce consistency. Asek, as we call it. Come on, baby. You rolling good. I tell you what, let me see. All of these right here are beautiful. How about I just flip one out Take them out like this. Woo! Tell me that right there ain't gorgeous. Oh, yes. Now, for all my vegetarians, if you don't want the lamb, you can create the ratatouille with the potato cake and have the lamb. I mean, and, and, have, and have the vegetarian dish. And it's perfect for that. Great presentation as well. Oh yes. Those are gorgeous. Ooh wee. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And they hot. <laughs> oh yes. She then came to a boil. That's what I wanted. So I can reduce. I'm just gonna add some demi to it. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Just gonna do its thing. Just a touch more. See now you got that lamb stock in there, which gives it a nice strong flavor. Beautiful. And now the last thing I want to do is I want to put some mint leaf into you know a lot of people they put the minted mint jelly with their um with their lamb. I'm just gonna take a couple of leaves and put right in that sauce and she and it's gonna do what I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. Who that Ray Charles? <laughs> Beautiful. And I got some tarragon. Now, the first time I actually tried this was, I don't know, 30 years ago. And um, at that time, I was, I was in Manhattan. And the chef said, make a minted tarragon. So I'm like, mint and tarragon? That's what I said to myself. I'm like, that cannot be good. So I'm going to take this, <laughs> these bushes and put it right down in there. I'm like, that cannot taste good. But when I tried it after that, I could not believe how that lamb with that mint and the veal stock, the demi, and the tarragon all came together and made this incredible goodness. I was in shock. I learned something that day. I truly did. And what I want to do is, see this stuff right here on the top? You don't want that. That's de you definitely don't want that. That's called scum. That's the impurities of your, that's in there. There we go. Beautiful. See, it'll take away from your sauce. I'm just gonna take these and do it like that. 
beautiful. Let's turn them down just a little bit now. It's starting to do what I want it to do. Oh, yes. Whee! Now, what I want to do is I want to taste it. Because that mint and tarragon, it's like it gives it like an instant, an instant uh, flavoring. Oh, that is amazing. The mint, the tarragon, and that lamb together. You need just a little touch of salt and pepper. Whee. There we go. And, and the reason you add the salt and pepper last when you're making sauces like this because of the natural reduction. Because if you add the salt in it while it's there, when you reduce it down, that salt will concentrate and it will be, whoo, no, you don't want that. Here we go, hit it with some pepper. Try it one more time. Oh yeah, that kicked it all the way up. Beautiful. Sauce is ready. Let's do our golden potato cakes. Ooh. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, I made two earlier. <laughs> you know you gotta make it keep happening. All right, so that's going. And then I'm going to strain that in just a second. I'm going to strain it into a bowl. Beautiful. So now that's doing this thing. I want to let that sauce just, let me just let it just keep going just for another few seconds. We're going to clean up here. I'm going to take my mandolin and set them to the side. Beautiful, and it's time for plating action. Now, what I made earlier was, I had never seen this before, and this this is literally three bell, two or three bell peppers, and I took all of the juices, and I juiced them, and I reduced it all the way down to this, and that's what you get, and we do a lot of painting. This one is just... Yes. Let's see. You're going to get us a little Z action. I'm going to start off with a Z. And then we're going to work our way back around. All right? Now, I got my potato cake. I want to strain my sauce first. Here we go. Whee! I'm going to do it right over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That is wonderful. Wow. See, that's the goodness. That's what you want right there that end product. Wow. Okay. And it, it could be reduced a lot more, but we're going to go with it like that right there for right now. Okay. Now we're going to go, we're going to get one potato cake out of here. I'm going to let rubber spatula we'll go. The doggy. Wow. Over here with the right side chili where it's supposed to be. Now, we got our potato cake. Ooh, wait. I just want to let it just sit there for a second and let some of that butter drip down off of it. That's beautiful. Nice, nice. 
That's long enough. We're gonna put it right in the middle of that plate like that. And we're gonna put the rat tattooing right on top of it. Wow. Now you see why I said the vegans can actually have it as an entree. Now I'm gonna take me a couple of these beautiful lambs. Let me just slide this over for a little bit. Turn you off, turn you off. And see now my, my lamb should be rested nicely by now. And you just follow the bone. Uh-oh. What did I hit? Straight. Oh, perfect. Medium rare. Beautiful. Oh, yes. See that right there? Now, see how the eye is full red all the way around? If I would have cut it as soon as it came out the oven, the blood wouldn't have came back to it. It would have been like a little red circle in the middle, and then it would have been just brown on the outside. So when you let your meat rest, the blood comes all the way back through. See how that is? How beautiful is that? So we're gonna marry them like this. Oh yeah. Right beside that. Mm. That's what you call a work of art? Yes, yes, yes. Woo, now I need, I'm thinking about what I could have cooked dessert with this thing here. Here we go. You wanna put that there, and all you wanna do is just take some, some sauce. Literally, you don't even wanna put it on the eye. You just want to just put it right at the bottom of it, just like that right there. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Just a little bit more. In the restaurant, we only gave two ounces, but guess what? We ain't at the restaurant today. Now, you take him. Ooh. How beautiful is that right there? And then I got me a little twig of rosemary. Which I wanna just take and stick right there. Voila. Now, we're gonna walk him over here across town. I'm gonna show you the eye. Ah. That right, that is a beautiful piece of meat. Wow. Let me see how everybody doing. Hello, everyone. Who been carving lamb? Hi, Ezra. You been oh you been craving lamb chops? Now I understand. I said carve. Hey, Mr. Spina. <laughs> you want me to walk him over there? <laughs> All the way to Chatham, huh? <laughs> the bell pepper reduction. Thank you, CJ. Joseph Allison, how are you, sir? Bishop, you are sin from... Oh, thank you. That touches my heart. Ah. Apostle Sandra, say hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Blessings. T. Rome. All right, everyone. Ooh, it is that time to sit on the other side. We're going to break down and have us a little din din. All right. Wow. I wish some things came out like that all the time. Because, you know, sometimes you burn them at the restaurant. After a while, you have to fly and, and put them back in there fast and quick. Now, we are over here and we have, 
I just want to slide them around just a little bit, just so you can just see. You got a beautiful ratatouille. You got layers of the shiitake mushroom, the um, the Roma tomatoes, squash, and you have the beautiful golden potato cake. And then you have this beautiful eye from this Australian rack of lamb, which is just amazing. That is just, mm, I don't even need this plate. I'm gonna slide this right in front of me. I don't think this lamb gonna last that long. So we're gonna take a nice taste. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful meal we're about to receive in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, see how that thing just cut just nice and easy? Wow. You gotta get it down in that jus. That's where that flavor can come from. Mm. I can eat three or four of these things. Wow. I want to taste this potato cake. Oh, yeah. See them layers and layers of goodness in there. And all that butter. Mm. Wow. That's a meal fit for a king. Or queen. <laughs> Let me just taste me a little bit of this. Wow. That right there is beautiful. So everyone, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, Dining with the Bishop on Fridays right now has come to a halt. I am actually back to work. But if you do want to have something, we're opening next uh, Wednesday for outside dining. And the menu is beautiful. Um, I've been very, very creative the last few days creating this, this, this awesome menu to have lots of fun. So if you're looking for a fried apple pie, come down to the um, Crown Plaza in Princeton, New Jersey, and you will be able to see the bishop. Um, also, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are also, the website is still up and running. Everything else is good. Jagger's rub is never gonna go away. So if you're looking for the um, beautiful rub, just go to www.diningwiththebishop.com. And remember to like and share, um, like and follow me on the Bishop of Culinary Arts page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and don't forget to hit the little bell at the top, and I will be coming on Wednesdays at 10 p.m. from now on. I will see you next Wednesday. God bless you. Good night.